Hey guys, Cindy Utter here. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Um, I was challenged by a friend of mine to make a book um, showing all my washi. Uh, I am Cindy. I'm a washi addict. I just love this stuff. I use it, you know, pretty much anywhere I can. But this is, I decided to put this together. This is just a regular composition notebook. I used washi, of course, on the covers, and then I just covered it with packing tape. It just makes it easier for me. And there it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick flip through. Um, I was starting in categories. You'll see some of them are in categories. You know, my my organization might be totally different than yours, but I just wanted to show you what we got going on. So let's get going. OK, 
Okay, so if you noticed in here, um, what I've done, the reason they're shiny is once I put the washi down, again, I cover them with packing tape. And the reason I did that is so that I don't have to come in here and say, oh, geez, this one's coming apart. Oh, that one's coming off. Because you know how washi is. Um, sometimes it sticks, sometimes it doesn't. You know, sometimes you have to add glue to it. You know, whatever. But, um, yeah, what I did is I tried to do them in different categories like these. I started out with my flowers. Um, I did do the long strips because I wanted to see the complete pattern. Um, I love washi. I just, I have, this one is not uh, covered in packing tape yet because I want to finish it if I ever get any new. But I honestly was shocked when I got out my washi. I collected it from all over the house, meaning I have some in my bedroom at my desk in there, which is for journaling. I have some out on the coffee table, so when I have a pain day, I just I have all my supplies right there. So I was really, really shocked once I got it all together. Um, we did a real quick, uh, just a couple friends and I, we did a real quick uh, guessing game to see how many rolls I had. So if you want to throw your, your remark down below and give me a guess of how many rolls you think I have, that'd be really cool. Maybe I could find something to send to you, whoever gets the closest. But yeah, so um, I tried to, like I said, put them in categories. This one is just things, which is basically things. Um, you know, this was just a Mod Podge of what I didn't know what category to put it in. So I kind of color coded it. Nothing crazy. Um, I just, you know, this is all people and eyes and noses and that kind of stuff. These I like. These are really cool. I got these from the washi tape shop. These are fabulous washi tapes. They're just so cool. They add a little bit of pop to everything. I know that's a bad word, but anyways. Um, glitter. If you notice, I don't have a whole lot of glitter, and it's pretty much all in the same shades. Um, I don't use glitter washi a lot, but this is what I have. Um, this is not glitter. It's a, no, it's just shiny metallic. Um, this is just, I start going into, you know, different designs I had. Um, this is just um, where it blends into one color. Um, same pattern on those. You know, and these are all minis. So I just... And then again, this is my solid colors. There's my solids. So yeah, it's it was kind of fun getting it all together. It was very interesting to see the ones I had. I can tell you I had eight more on top of this. Four of them I used up when I started doing the journal. So those four I'm not counting. And then I had four rolls that I just plain could not get off the roll and I ended up throwing away. So there's eight rolls. So yeah, um, there's my washi book. Maybe it gives you an idea to do something with your supplies. Um, I use this all the time, the washi, so I really enjoy having this book to look at. All right, guys, we'll see you again on the next time. Have a great day. Bye.